Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mama Beach and I'm here today to do a video that's a little bit of a departure for me. Um, you guys know I love handbags and accessories. If you've seen my channel before, I clearly have a lot of handbags and most of what I have, actually I think all of what I have, are real leather bags. I absolutely love leather, I love leather care, but I was recently contacted by a company who offered to send me a handbag for me to look at in person and try out, and it is vegan leather. And I have never actually really handled a high quality vegan leather bag before, so I was immediately intrigued by their offer and I took them up on it. So I've been using this bag for the last couple of days. And the name of the company is Friday by JW Pay. And this bag that they sent me is their envelope chain crossbody. It is one of their most popular styles. They also sell the same style with a thick, um, comfortable shoulder strap that is made of vegan leather. So if you're not crazy about chain strap bags, there is a leather strap option. They also have tons of other really cute styles on their website. I encourage you to go check it out. I'm gonna link it below, and I'm gonna link this bag below specifically if you're interested in this one. They have the same style in uh, some other colors, and they have, I was really tempted to ask if they would send me some of their Croco or like faux alligator. It looks really nice. So if you're somebody that's really into exotic leathers, definitely go check that out. So this bag is a really environmentally conscious option if you're somebody who lives a vegan life lifestyle or somebody that just, like I said, is, in, is conscious about the environment and doesn't want to carry um, real leather handbags, which I certainly understand. So I wanna take you through the features of this bag, um, tell you what it's made of, and just tell you my thoughts about it, um, especially in terms of how the vegan leather compares to real leather. So like I said, this is the envelope chain crossbody. The retail price on it is $99, but it's currently on sale right now for $41. And I think before that I saw it on sale for 59. So this is a really good deal if you can get it for 41. Um, it, the outside is ultra, I'm sorry, I'm reading this. I don't wanna get it right ultra microfiber vegan leather. So it has a really nice smooth texture to it that I would compare to, I don't know, like a more sturdy lambskin. It has the nice sheen and the smoothness of lambskin, but it's definitely more structured than a lambskin would be. Um, the inside of the bag is actually made from 100% recycled plastic bottles, which is really cool um, as far as the like environmentally conscious aspect of it. And then the strap is made of aluminum, so it's super lightweight. And then it obviously has been coated with a gold coating on it. And I do believe they have either silver or gold hardware, but you guys know I love gold hardware, so that's what I asked for. The dimensions on this are 8.9 inches across, 6.1 inches high, and two and a half inches wide. And this one has a 20 inch strap drop. And I will do mod shots at the end so you can see what this looks like on. Um, for me, 20 inches for crossbody is like the bare, bare minimum. So my first thing that I would caution you about this bag and also about the one that has the leather strap rather than the chain strap is that the straps might be a little bit short for crossbody wear if you're on the taller side. I would say if you are like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, maybe 5'5", five, five, it would work pretty well. But anything taller than that, it's going to be a little bit short on you. Just heads up. I know some people like to wear their crossbody bag shorter. I just prefer mine longer. So it's also a matter of personal preference. So I'm gonna to try to show you the texture of this bag so you can kind of get an idea of what this leather looks like. It definitely, like handling it and looking at it in person, it looks like real smooth leather. I mean, it certainly doesn't have like a texture to it, like a pebbled leather or any kind of striations in it, like a, like a natural, like, um, calf skin or something would like like that would have but it does look really beautiful in person and classy and you can see it has a really nice sheen to it it's pretty basic in terms of the structure of the bag it's truly like an envelope style bag as you would imagine it and after really looking it over in person in terms of like the stitching and the edge seal the quality looks really nice on it i didn't notice any loose or like pop stitches or anything like that the edge seal is all really smooth um, and well done. Um, so that made me happy to see when I received it. And then the strap, it is lightweight, so it doesn't, it doesn't feel as heavy as like a brass chain strap. Like I'm used to feeling on some of my other real leather bags, but the, the lightness of the strap is nice when you're carrying it. 
and it definitely is real metal so that's something that was also pleasing to me when I received it and then these um, little grommet things that hold the bag on the strap on the bag and also this piece here of hardware feels heavier weight to me it feels like maybe brass or some other heavier weight metal so um, they definitely I think put more like sturdy materials where you're going to be handling the bag a lot more and where it's going to have stress on it which is also nice and so you can see their logo stamped here jw pay right across the front now the one thing i want to mention is their all of their styles this one included gave me kind of a chloe vibe like not not um, a replica or anything like that or not even inspired I would say it just has that kind of sophisticated Chloe vibe to it and I think that's why I was drawn to it when the company contacted me I think it looks really chic um, and also just really current so um, like I said go check out the website they have lots of cool stuff so the closure here is a snap closure it is magnetized when I was using it in the store depending on like when I was out running errands depending on how much I had in here it was a little bit hard for this to find its way shut so it's just something to keep in mind when you fill the bag if you overfill it it's gonna have a hard time closing this flap isn't overly generous so you really have to this por portion here has to be pretty narrow in order for it to close you can't really like stuff it full but it does hold a decent amount especially for a crossbody so let me open this up here and show you what the inside looks like. You can see I have it full because I was using it today. And um, I kept it pretty simple. I think you could probably fit a couple more things in here than I have in here. I just have my sunglasses on top. I have my small pouch here that has a lot of my essential items in it, like feminine hygiene products, bobby pins, hair ties, medicine, that sort of thing that I always carry. And then I have a mid-size zipped wallet in here. So if I downsize to a card case in this, I could fit even more probably. Uh, I also have a lip product in here. And then I have my car keys. So that's what I was carrying today. Like I said, I could probably cram a couple more things in here, but for me, these are really like the basic essential items that I need to have. So the inside is also black and you can see the lining in here. It feels almost like nylon. It feels very wipeable and stain resistant to me. It has a, also has a little bit of a sheen to it. And then you have one zip back pocket here. The zipper works very nicely. And you have one front pocket here that um, they advertise on their website fits all size cell phones. And I'm happy to report that it does. My iPhone 8 Plus with a giant, 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 huge case on it fits in here just fine. I will say once again, you have to keep in mind how much you're putting in here because if you have a giant phone here and you can't quite put as much here because then this flap won't close. So just something to keep in mind. And last but not least, there is an outside pocket on this bag, which we all know I love an outside pocket. This, because this, this vegan leather is more structured, it's hard to get anything really bulky in here. I would stick to more narrow items. Like maybe if you had a key clay rather than like a big mass of keys like I do, you could slip that in here. If you had a smaller cell phone with a really narrow case on it, I'm sure you could put that in here. Um, and it would fit just fine. So it's nice to have that outside pocket option. The other thing I want to show you guys before I do mod shots is the packaging because I thought it was so cute and current as well. And it came to me in this beautiful marble box. Isn't that so pretty? Just with their logo here with the foil stamp, JW Pay. And then inside, they give you a little dust bag for your bag, which I thought was really nice. And they also pack it with tissue paper and gel packs. So I really liked the packaging on this as well. I thought it looked really sophisticated and I think it would be really nice as a gift item because of the packaging. I could see giving this to someone with just this beautiful marble box and put a simple ribbon about around it and like a little card and it would be a really beautiful gift for somebody who's, you know, environmentally conscious, vegan. So just something to keep in mind. All right, let me um, get this bag on and show you guys some mod shots. Here's what this bag looks like on. You can tell it hangs a little bit higher up on me like I mentioned in the first part of the video. It comes basically to my natural waistline, the top of the back does. I prefer to have my bag more on the hip area, but I think it is totally passable as a crossbody. Um, I, I think it looks better hanging in the back. 
which is how I was wearing it today. And it, like I said, if you were shorter, it would definitely hang a little bit lower on you. But it is really comfortable on the shoulder because they give you a nice flat leather piece here. So it's not gonna dig into your shoulder because of the chain. And the other great thing about how they've put the strap on this bag is that you can shorten it and turn it into a short drop bag, which I think would look great for any kind of evening occasion, date night, anything like that. You still have a nice amount of space here. I think it looks really sharp as a, like a short drop shoulder bag. Thank you so much for joining me today for this review of this lovely Friday by JW Pay Envelope Chain Crossbody Bag. I'm really impressed with it, and honestly, as a, as a leather lover, I don't really miss it not being real leather. I think it's a really good quality bag, and I think it does the part just as well as any real leather bag would. Um, I would be interested to see as I use this how it ages, how, how it holds up compared to real leather, so that's something that I'm going to kind of try to keep an eye on and maybe I'll come back and update you guys as I use it more kind of how it ages. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments and questions section. And as I said, if you're looking to buy one of these yourself, check in the description box and I will post a special link for you to get this bag. And I'll also post the link for their website so you can check out all of their other styles. As always, thank you so much for all your support here on YouTube. I truly appreciate all of my subscribers out there. And um, if you're new here, I hope that you will subscribe and join me for future videos. As you can see, I totally love handbags and accessories. So if you do too, I know you'll love my channel. All right, guys, I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.